Ever chewed bubble gum? You'll like this video. Here are 10 native and indigenous inventions that changed the world. Sago friends and neighbors, my name is Vincent Schilling, the native guy in a vest and tie. You know, I wrote a news article about native inventions a few years ago and realized this topic would make a great video. In the 1500s, after the arrival of Columbus, stories about the innovations of indigenous peoples began to make their way into Europe. Not wanting to believe that tribal communities could be inventive, they spread rumors that native people in the Americas must simply be a lost colony or lost tribe from somewhere else. <laughs> really? Such rumors still exist today, and they are still being discussed by archaeologists. Heaven forbid a native person be smart. But indigenous cultures have created thousands of innovations that are still in use today. Here are 10 native inventions and innovations that changed the world. Invention number one, environmentally friendly ways to combat those pesky bugs. To combat insects such as lice or pesky biting bugs, the Paiute and Shoshone wash their hair in a heated infusion mixed with sweet root. To fight other pests, pre-Columbian indigenous peoples made structures with cashew wood. The Pima sprinkled ashes on their crops to combat squash bugs. Pueblo people used ground buffalo gourd to fend off garden bugs. And Inca cotton farmers planted lemon verbena and or burned the plants. That's amazing. Invention number two, the syringe or hypodermic needle. You know, even though historians credit Alexander Wood with inventing the syringe in 1853, they were hundreds of years off. In pre-Columbian times, indigenous tribes of South America invented a type of syringe made from sharpened, hollow bird bones, which were attached to a small animal bladder to inject medicine, irrigate wounds, or even clean ears. Indigenous healers also used larger, similar instruments for enemas. Think about that. Considering they would inject, irrigate, or use enemas, this is a strong indication that indigenous healers knew how the human body worked. Invention number three, the cigar. There is proof of the cigar found on centuries-old pottery vessels found in Guatemala and other places. On many of these pieces of decorated pottery are images of Mayan figures or indigenous leaders who are smoking a cigar of tobacco leaves tied with string. The Maya word for smoking was cigar, which became the Spanish word cigarro. Settlers eventually cultivated tobacco, learning from Indians, and an early cigar factory in Pennsylvania gave the cigar its playful name, the stogie. Invention number four, the baby bottle. The early baby bottle was used by the Seneca, part of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and native people would use washed, dried, and oiled bear intestines and then attach them to a bird quill to serve as a form of nipple. They used a mixture of pounded nuts, meat, and water as a type of baby formula. I love that, that's amazing. Invention number five, oral contraception. Well, that first started in indigenous cultures dating back to the 1700s, likely a lot earlier because this is when it was documented. And back in those days, the Shoshone used the herb stone seed as a contraceptive, while the Potawatomi used the herb dogbane. However, considering the Food and Drug Administration gave a seal of approval to the first oral contraceptive in 1960, Western medicine's oral pill came about 260 years after the native people's version. Invention number six. United States government system of checks and balances. Wait, what? You might be saying, but yes, it all began with the Haudenosaunee Great Law of Peace, which was started by Hiawatha and Deganawida, also known as the Great Peacemaker. Within the confines of the Great Law of Peace are the Tribal Council Fires, aka the Haudenosaunee Confederacy Council Fires. And this is what influenced the U.S. system of checks and balances, meaning the Senate, the House of Representatives, and the U.S. President. These were all based on elder and younger councils, or the Haudenosaunee Council fires, and the president was influenced by the main chief, or Tododaho. There have been comparisons to the Supreme Court and the Council of Women. Mm, I don't know about that. I, I, I guess so, but the Women's Council could remove a main chief from his position by their vote and their vote alone. The last time I checked, the Supreme Court has never been all women that could vote out the president. Wouldn't that have been a history changer? <laughs> But Benjamin Franklin himself wrote and published a book, An Account of the Treaty with the Indians of Six Nations, and Haudenosaunee leaders' speeches were in there, as well as other leaders. Leaders from the U.S. and the Haudenosaunee traveled back and forth talking about all of this to create the U.S. government, independent from Britain's king. 
I bet you never heard of any of this history in your history classes. Definitely stay tuned for a video on this topic. Invention number seven, bunk beds. In the northeast of the United States, the Iroquois, or Haudenosaunee, have lived in longhouses for generation after generation. What are longhouses, you ask? Uh, they are long extended houses made from uh, branches that are kind of formed into a large half circle and covered with big sections of bark. And inside these longhouses were bunk beds, which is a creation of two beds built on top of the other. Back in the day, my brother and I had bunk beds and I always had to have the top bunk. Are you a top or bottom bunk bed person? Let me know in the comments. But about these inventions of bunk beds, hey there, Ikea. From my people of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy to yours, you're welcome. <laughs> Invention number eight, ethnobotany and pharmacology. Have you taken a pill, herbal supplement, or vitamin lately? According to those who have extensively studied North American Indian ethnobotany in the United States, native tribes have medicinal uses for over 2,564 species of plants. Tribal medicines have long been used to cure colds with such medicinal plants as guaiacum or heart ailments with dogbane and foxglove and lady slipper as a sedative. Have a problem with dry mouth? Brazil's well-known slobber mouth plant, the jaborandi tree, is a medicine that could help you. You know, with this topic of ethnobotany and medicinal native plants, I could go on for hours. In fact, that would be a great video. Let me know in the comments if that would interest you. Invention number nine, chewing gum. Bubblicious and bubble yum, remember those gums? Well, if you're 40 or over, you more, more likely have. But yes, I looked it up and then they still exist. But in terms of chewing gum, it may never have gotten its start if it hadn't been for the sapodilla tree. The Mesoamerican Indians chewed the milky, rubbery sap known as chicle, which eventually became today's chewing gum. And you thought you were being snaky chicklets. We caught you, Cobbian Indians. <laughs> But last but not least, invention number 10, lacrosse. The Iroquois creator's game of lacrosse has been played for centuries. And yes, it was first played by Iroquois slash Haudenosaunee tribes who played the game knowing the creator enjoyed it. According to Rick Hill, I interviewed him. He's a Tuscarora brother and a co-founder of the Iroquois Nationals. There's a story where Haudenosaunee warriors went to the Sky World, which is the spiritual realm beyond the clouds, and found that a lacrosse game was going on, much to the delight of the spirits on the other side. And because the game was a way for the men to work out their aggressions without violence, it became the creator's favorite game. Today, lacrosse is played all over the world, and native players even had an exhibition game in the 1908 Olympics. The history of lacrosse would be another great video. Comment below if you agree. Yahweh, so much for watching and learning. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and it would be fantastic if you subscribed to my channel. This is Vincent Schilling, Native Guide of Us and Tai. Take care and own a friends and neighbors.